Wallahi, it is our duty to change our lives. I want to tell you one story. I cry when I listen to the story. One boy, he passed away in a car crash. And this is in a Muslim country. And he was a boy who was hooked onto pornography. May Allah forgive him. But what happened is he paid some money with his card in order to get weekly emails full of naked women. So his friends told him that, you know, we don't want to all pay. Why don't you pay? And when the email comes to you, you can send it to us. So he had a group of so many friends. He used to send the email. Once it comes to him with all the pictures, he sends the pictures by email to his friends. So he was getting tired of forwarding. So he decided to use auto forward. Auto forward means automatically the email will go forward. So he died in the car crash. His friends were with him. They were shocked and they were really hurt that our friend has died. Some of them were involved in the crash, but they did not die. So what happened is a few days later, when they met at his house, they were crying so much because they said to the Sheikh that Sheikh, every week we are getting emails from this man, but he is now in his grave. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Look at this. Do you see? So do we want this to happen to us? A person passed away, but because he put auto forward, it continued coming to him. They had to go back to the servers and they had to go back. It took a very long time before they had to cut because they waited for the subscription to expire, but they were crying. They all learned a lesson. So I said that inshallah, Allah will forgive him because so many of you have stopped watching pornography because you learned a very big lesson, subhanallah. So Allah can forgive him. We must not think bad about him. Allah is the judge. We are not there to judge anyone. So we ask Allah, but we learn a lesson. Those who have bad habits, if we die whilst we are engaged in something very bad, it will be an embarrassment for us. We'd rather become better people as we go. One day I was sitting in one lecture of a very senior Sheikh and he said, think about how long you want to live. So people were thinking. So he asked some people, how long do you want to live? How long do you want to live? One man says, I want to live however long Allah keeps me. The other one said, I want to live for 100 years. One said 90 years, but nobody said I want to die now because no one wants to die. So he said, okay, even if you choose 100 years, when 100 years finishes, what will happen to you? Good question. You still have to go to Allah. So when you go to Allah, you need to go with a good record. So try your best to earn the pleasure of Allah.